Welcome to the channel where we keep it real, raw, and uncut. No hype, no epic, no fanboyism, just the real. Today I'm going to do a response to um, Bushido Spirits video. Um, why the, the sidekick is more... The sidekick character is more complex than the, the star of the show or whatever. And uh, this was... He was right on a lot of points. Uh, I'm going to refer back to Dragon Ball Z like he did. Uh, Vegeta was way more developed than Goku, right? And uh, this happened through a lot of the earlier um, show and series like that. Uh, Yo-Yo Hakusho, you had Yusuke and uh, Kuwabara. And then you had the demons who were the sidekicks with uh, Hiei and Kurama. Both of their backstories are better than Yusuke's and Yusuke and Kurama's. Kurama. Then you got a um, oh man, uh, Luffy. Zoro's the sidekick. To me, Zoro's a more interesting character than Luffy is. I like Zoro more than I like Luffy. But what was another one, good one? Uh, we got uh, d -d 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 -d. what was I thought about? Uh, Naruto. Of course, Naruto. Sasuke is way more developed than uh, Naruto is, and he only well, he almost stole the show from Naruto. And it's, it's, uh, the anime is called Naruto, and Sasuke get more shine than he do. So it happens a lot, man. And the reason I think this happens is because. The hero's gonna get his shine no matter what. The hero's gonna get his shine. So you gotta create another character, I guess, develop him more so that he will be interesting compared to the um, the main character. Cause all the good things happen to the main character, all the popular things, all the power ups, all the hype is gonna go to the uh, the main character. So you gotta counteract that. Cause if you don't got a story where the other characters are interesting then the story's whack. You know, you don't want to see Batman and Robin. Robin suck. You know, Batman was so, so big of a star, he outshined Robin so much, you didn't even care about Robin. You know, screw Robin. There's actually more than one Robin, you know, and most people don't even know that, because Robin was nothing. This character was never really developed as much as Batman's was. So, in the case of uh, manga and anime, they create great sidekicks to counteract this effect. And make the story goes along. Cause a lot of times also, you gotta hype up the villain more than the main character. Because a great villain always makes a story. You gotta have a great villain. When a villain sucks, the story sucks. Case in point, Hody Jones, he sucks. He's not an interesting character. The whole fishman arc kinda sucked to me. You know, to see Luffy just slapping around all the time is, is not fun to watch. But then you got Caesar Clown. Caesar Clown, damn. Ambulance destroying my damn video. Excuse me. Back on topic. The um, but then when he falls, uh, Caesar Clown is a way better villain. So the story is better than the fisherman's art just by the Caesar Clown being there. Then you got the other guy, uh, Vertigo. His character is better than Hody Jones, and he's a sidekick villain. You know, so you need a good villain, a developed villain. You need a developed um, sidekick just to make the hero look better and make the story go along. And this is a marketing tool, yeah, because you always want the kids interested in your show. So you make a lot of naive, uh, corny, happy-go-lucky character, main character, because the kids going to appeal to that. They don't want no stoic, uh, developed, super complex character as a main character, because they're not going to understand it. They're not going to understand, like, you got guts. They're not going to understand guts, you know. Got raped as a kid and all this stuff. And had, ended up having to kill his uh, foster father, if you want to call it, in Gambino, who who hated him the whole time. There's a whole bunch of complexity there. They're not going to understand, so Gus is not going to be an interesting character to them. But, you know, the Goku, fun, go loving, joke, joking around, Luffy joking around, laughing, eating, sleeping, playing. You know, that's something that they can get into. And on top of that, you know, most people like a character, a good guy, even grown ups like a good guy. You know, you like a guy that's the life of the party. So that's why they always make their characters. The hero is always like the life of the party. Everybody likes him. He's full of jokes. He's full of fun, full of energy. That's how people gravitate to people like that. So that's why they base their characters like that. And like I said, since the character gets to shine, the sidekick got to have something going for him. So that's when you add in, boom. Uh, the uh, well-developed uh, backstory to the minor characters. Um, Busher Boy did a great um, 
He did a good video on it. Uh, he talked about Dragon. I hate to keep going back to Dragon Ball Z. This ain't a Dragon Ball Z discussion, you know. It ain't a Dragon Ball Z discussion. But uh, I guess it's popular and everybody can relate to it. But uh, he talked about it in his to Vegeta and uh, training in the hyperbolic chamber and Goku playing around, you know, didn't train as hard as Vegeta did, but he got gained more power than he do. Once again, like I said, all the credit's going to go to the main character. Saki character, he busts his ass in there, you know what I'm saying, working hard, do what he got to do. He gets minimal results, but the hero comes along, bam. He gets everything. Oh, yeah, Butcher Boy, I got what that correct, Joe. Vegeta knew that uh, going, extending, um, getting, a, turning into an extended Saiyan and made those big muscles was uh, a flaw. That's why he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't go that far. But then when Trunks fought the cell, Trunks went that far, made his um, arms all bulky and stuff and muscular, and he couldn't hit Cell. And then he, then he thought to himself, like, damn, that's why Vegeta didn't do it, because Vegeta knew he would be slow. So Vegeta knew about that. So that's my little correction on you, Bustle Boy. It's out of love, man. It's all out of love. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm starting to ramble. So shout out to Bushido. It was a great topic. You should have brought up last night on the call. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, holla at your boy. Peace.